Good morning, it's Sunday and today what I want to do is something a little different. I found an article that's really helpful and I wanted to go through it with you and just give you an idea of what this week is going to look like because instead of reading the book I'm going to do something else. So let's look into that. This blog post is going to prove to be really helpful. My friend Corey Miller retweeted it and I looked through it and it's it's just really going to be helpful. So it's 25 tips for new developers being self-taught, which is what's exciting to me. So if I scroll down... Tips for new programmers. Have your reason and remember it. The main reason why I'm learning how to code is that my day job wants me to redo their website. The JavaScript book that I've been going through they reimbursed me for it. So that's the big reason that I'm learning how to code. I've also wanted to learn how to code for a long time. And then the second one is the next one that I'm focusing on. Build a solid foundation. You need to look at math, Algebra 1, because it deals with functions and variables. I don't remember specifically learning sp functions and variables in algebra, but I do remember when I first started learning JavaScript and struggling with it, I had flashbacks to my childhood of being terrible at math. And the fact that this second piece is go through Khan Academy Algebra 1, I'm not happy about it. I might cry. It's going to help me though. It's, it's going to help me and it's hopefully going to make my eyes not cross so much. So this week, what I'm going to do is go through the Khan Academy algebra course. And I'm not happy about it. However, it's needed. I'm home from work and ready to get to work. We'll get to not coding, but learning more about math. Because coding is like math, and I should revisit it. It's not so bad, though. Khan Academy is starting with history, and it's getting into the sides of math that I haven't gotten into before. can't quite see it, but the sun's coming up through that tree in the neighbor's backyard. Good morning! It's Tuesday. What time is it? 10 to 8? Normally I'd be at work right now, but I'm not. I took the day off. Ta-da! So the business community I'm in, the Sean West community, is having their episode 400 live stream today and I took the day off so that I could participate live. I'm so very excited. They have a special guest and I just I just wanted to participate live because it happens like every two years or so and last time I didn't have PTO time at work to take off whereas now I do so I took advantage of that and it's going to be great and in the meantime, until that happens, I'm going to get some more algebra work done, and surprise, it's kind of becoming addicting. Like, they give practice problems, and apparently I'm not so bad at math. I mean, I do math at work every day, so who knew? Uh, it's not hard yet. Uh, we'll see when it does. So let's get on with the day. So I'm in the chat right now. The event won't start for another hour or so, but Sean always likes to open up the chat an hour beforehand so that way we can all talk to each other. And this is open to the public as well. So those that aren't familiar with the Sean West community can kind of get a taste of it. I remember years ago being part of one. 
I can't remember how many years ago it was. Maybe four at this point? I think it was four, which is crazy to think about. So, it's gonna be a really good time. I okay, so someone in the community said that they were going to stream it to their TV. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Um, we don't have a wireless adapter yet or a wireless keyboard, so this is the setup that I have. I have it on the TV. It's duplicated from the desktop in the other room. I have the screen for the video as low as it'll go, and then I have my laptop in my lap that goes the other way, so I have the chat as, as high as it'll go. So this is how things are going to be for today. It's going to be really interesting. Oh man, it's going to start soon. And the chat is freaking out. Did it work? It worked! It's still counting down. We gotta get rid of this countdown. Get out of here, countdown. What's going on? Hey! Uh, good morning, Ben. Good morning, Sean. Oh, uh, my heart is pounding. Really? Yes. I've just been sitting over here, like, hanging out on my computer, but you've been over there like the Wizard of Oz, like, don't look at the man behind the curtain, like, going crazy. It's no matter your circumstances. The special guest and is Sean's brother, Ryan! This He's so cool. He's a great perform. piano player. Resources. That's value-based pricing. And the, the reason it's so great is we're helping you increase value. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come back, computer. Wake up. Computer. Oh, no. I lost power. So right in the middle of the podcast... The power goes out. It's really weird. I wanted to give you an update on the power. So I was so disappointed in the middle of episode 400. The reason why I took the day off, the power goes out. In the middle, like right before they were about to announce, to announce the winners of the giveaway, the power goes out. Ugh. So annoying. Turns out, it was a planned power outage by DTE, and they so graciously gave us a phone call like two hours later saying that we were going to lose power for 90 minutes due to updates. Well, we were already out of power. So we decided that um, like right after the power went out, we went out for lunch and we ran some errands, and then by the time we came back, we had power back on. Um, but this is where I'm going to leave you for the week. I'm really excited that tomorrow I start my weekend sabbatical, my weekend break. And in doing that, when I wake up in the morning, I get to do whatever I want, which is kind of unnerving. Uh, if you're interested in having me go more into uh, weekend breaks or weekend sabbaticals, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to explain it and go into that. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below on how your week went and I'll see you next week for more math.